Hello everyone, this is Anna from Lexington View Journals. I hope everybody's well today. I have, um, I have as promised, seven journals here to show you. They are ready for the Etsy store, my Etsy shop. They are uh, dimensions 13 are. by um, 22 and they're all the same size um, and they all have the, the, they're all they're all sort of inspired by the heritage idea they're very they're very as i say very similar but they also have their own individuality <laughs> so let me just show you i think what i'll do is i'll show you each uh, show you each one of them obviously because there's not very much space and as I mentioned on my Instagram account, I am going to list them tonight onto my Etsy shop. But as they all have, they're they're all different in a way, and they are heritage. They're all heritage under the heritage title. I thought that the names I could give them could be related to their colors, because otherwise it will be a little bit confusing. So let's start for this with this one. And as you can see, as I said, it's quite it's a, quite a simple design. And I have used these beautiful papers here, Anna Griffin papers. And I always I, I think I mentioned I've always I've always had a soft spot for her her work. And I love using her papers, but I haven't used them recently a lot because they, they haven't been it hasn't been very easy to find them here in uh, the UK and when I do I find them sometimes um, they're, they're usually second-hand on uh, eBay and I'm not very trusting to buy second-hand scrapbook paper so so it's it's hard to, it's hard to find them so so I found this 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 bunch of papers from um, from a, a a British um, a British supplier, so I'll be I'll be getting a few of those before they they stop doing them. So anyway, so this is this is this is um this is the first one I'm going to show you, and I have used the seam binding um, seam binding ribbon, and inside I've used this. This, this uh, is a copy of a marble paper. It's a beautiful copy, though. It's it's done. It's it's almost it's almost it feels like the the same thing, the original, and it is a an Italian um, Italian design, Italian marble paper, and it is um, a, if I'm not mistaken, end of the nineteenth of the yeah of the nineteenth century. So I, I've. I've kind of used the paper that I used outside. Whatever remained from it, I made pockets in all of them, so that they had we have a some kind of a, a continuity, let's say. And I've added these cards here for journaling, and I've also used these tabs. Um, I, I oh, this is a library, a little library envelope that I've got a few of these, so I thought I'd add one to each one. And uh, the, I made some tabs from this this paper. Um, I use different types of papers, and uh, I I just think that that that's the whole the whole fun of these ones is the different papers. These are quite thick, and some of them are tea dyed, some are not. And is I mean this one is is a graph paper tab from a graph paper the tab and it's. I love these graph paper tabs, well, graph papers. Um, I just love the blue so much. And some sari, sari ribbon, which is sort of sari silk ribbon here, which I love as well, color. And this is very fine paper. And I have added some ephemera onto the pages. And this is a Shakespeare. A Shakespeare book, and and this is like a little <laughs> flower on the end of a, of a little chapter here. Some music ribbon, and here is some Tim Holtz ephemera. I've added. Other than that, they're like they're fun little fun 
writing or whatever drawing or whatever else you like journals and this is Catherine I've, I've put a I've added a, a romantic um, scene on on each one of in each one of them there's this corner pocket here some more ephemera here I mean if you don't like the ephemera you can just remove it or or um uh, yeah just stick something over it I did just a I just added some stuff just for a bit of interest here like this mix this combination of graph and and, and fl flowers and ephemera and it just think it's sweet okay so this is it this is the first journal and there's a book plate here in the end handy easy to use a quite solid at the same time and, um, strong put that there and I'll move on to this one which is a rose color and I could call this English rose couldn't I <laughs> because it is a very very much like an English rose color and it's beautifully um, naturally colored uh, ribbon, silk ribbon, which I bought like this. I didn't do it myself. I just loved it. Loved the, the colors and the go so well with this one. And I have some vintage lace here. Yes. And the same out library uh, envelope. And corner pocket. There's another little corner pocket here. Tiny one. And flower here, ephemera, put in holes again, some graph paper, a little pink ribbon here, some on, some more tabs. Oops, put the paper there. Waterhouse beautiful waterhouse painting here which goes very well with the rose theme so I've kind of kept a consistency on all of them and they also have the same idea inside they've got similar Ephemera, similar pages, music paper here, and tabs, more tabs. There's another pocket here with this paper, and this is the plate. So, this is the English rose and the first one. Well, I haven't thought yet of a name. But it'll be on Etsy by the by by this evening. I will have thought <clears throat> this is a very fee, so I'll call this leaf because it has this color. But then the other one, I've made another one that's got a more of a limey color. So, um, so here's the back, and here's what do you see in the side and underneath. vintage lace that belonged well the grandmother made so I added that and another one of these pockets paper. these little pieces of paper came from the tabs that I was making and then they sort of slipped inside <laughs> and the leaf and intertwined through the page and it's a lot of paper corner pay corner of our pocket here and this is a vintage notebook I'm saying it's vintage it is actually a very old notebook I found this is 
this tea dyes beautifully, this music paper. And some pages, some loops and pages in between. But I must I mostly left these clear for for writing, for journaling or whatever else, for drawing. Graph, this blue graph. Here I added one of my fringes, the globe, this beautiful globe, vintage globe. Corner, pocket, more paper here. And finally, the end of this one. And so we said this one is going to be called leaf okay so as i was edi editing and about to <laughs> upload onto youtube i realized that half of the video was a bit too close so so you would have been seeing a few of the journals a little bit too <laughs> too close and not not the whole proper image so i am redoing redoing the the, the last few left so um, i'm doing another four so this is mint just this is just a little detail I'm giving you because you will probably find the light has changed a bit. It's a little bit darker now. So this is mint, and mint mint is is very I think it's very very much a heritage color. They are very unique colors that I have I have managed to um, to get with mixing. So so they are they are I think they're quite they're quite interesting. <laughs> they're nice. So. This is a Dutch curl, and this is also another um, copy of an original, um, an original marble paper. But it is a very good copy because I got it from the the binders, and you know they sell them as as um, they sell them for books to be used in books. So it's beautiful, and it also feels lovely. So yeah, so th these are the two two cards, and a little label there, and our usual paper, some in with Holden here, and some paper, and some of the lace. I've added tabs in all of them. This is fun. <laughs> the ladies saying saying farewell to the knights that are off to battle. Just one of my again one of my, my favorite images, medieval images. Some blue. And tab. Another tab. More of this interesting paper. Corner, corner pockets. And book plate in the end. And this is mint. I hope the table's not shaking every time I'm putting these down. I've got to be a bit more gentle. And this one is lime. It's a little bit darker, but it's a lovely color, isn't it? And same idea. Holding here, I've got quite a few Edith Holden books, and I I, I haven't used them.
for a long time. I haven't used the images. So a few of them went in these books. <coughs> and more Tim Holtz ephemera. I quite like the ephemera going on these the music papers and the all the different um, graph papers and all that. So different papers, just little little journals to write in and draw and carry around, traveling, whatever you like. It's fun. And my favorite image ever, Durer, Maximilian's gate, arch, Maximilian's arch. Graph and book plate here. And this is lime. And this is beautiful teal. So this will be teal. Um, I'll show you the spine. And only like a teal bind silk binding ribbon. here this is from a book of mine it's Emma Jane Austen this is a, a page from the book torn and added and some of this lace beautiful and, and you, you 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 if it's 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 laying flat they're all they're all able to lay flat and you can see on the sides this marbled the marble paper and the colors it so like a composition and it all looks like it's it's tied nicely together and um, there's more flowers here ephemera I was going to say if anybody would like to purchase one of these books or maybe you know two or three or whatever and would like extra pockets or whatever else they could message me on Etsy and uh, please let me know please because I can add more things to them if you would like them to be added one would like them to be added so just let me know and I'm happy to do that and if one wants two of the same I'm also happy to produce two to produce if one wants to have a series and more than one I'm happy to do that as well because I have more paper more of this paper of each one so happy to do more there we are and finally this one and this is dusky dusky pink and this one was today was I had it on my Instagram and um, you see the ribbon is again naturally dyed beautiful color and you open it into this beautiful original marble paper this one is the only one by Katy and she's Russian and she makes this beautiful paper so I've got a bit had a bit left and it's just amazing and so I used it here. 
So this one's got this extra little, that little extra thing that it's got the original marble paper in it. And I'll add up these details. I love this one. you can see when the light is okay still okay sorry about that this is a, a post post from Italy from Florence I said I thought I'd add this page the book plate and this is the last one of the series the heritage series and there will be more um, more more of those at some stage but at the moment they will be up on Etsy tonight and it might be even before it might be before you watch this video because unfortunately it took me a while to finish them off today and although I was hoping I could have them ready earlier I it took me a little bit longer so there they are they will be sold individually and but out together at the same time so there will be a chance if anybody would like two of them or more to get them. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the, the journals and you you um, you enjoyed it. And we will be talking soon, in, in a few hours. Hopefully by tomorrow morning I will have uploaded the Crafting Friday video. And in, have a lovely end of the week, a lovely weekend. And we will be talking very soon.